The typical truck customer who has been very conservative in the past is starting to evolve, very much so, in the, in the way that they want to embrace technology. So in that same sense, we wanted the outside of the truck to reflect that evolution in the customer. So therefore, we, we, we approach the truck from a very contemporary, uh, from a very contemporary viewpoint. The side silhouette has our, has our classic Ford DNA. It's got the drop belt line, although we did modify the belt line. We dropped the belt about an inch, dropped the top of the box an inch as well. And we did that because we wanted the customer to have a very unique perception from inside the truck. It's much more functional because they can see better, they can see what's around them as they're maneuvering the vehicle. But it doesn't walk away from our current DNA. It still is undeniably a Ford truck from the side view. We looked at the way the truck is used. I'm a, I own an F-150. I use the box quite a bit for, in, in my lifestyle, so I know that there were some deficiencies. Illumination was a big one. We wanted to make sure that the truck was illuminated better, so when you're in the back of the truck and securing things to it, that you can see what you're doing. The truck had to be efficient. That was our, our, a major goal of ours. We wanted it to be more efficient for our customers, so it needs to appear that way. We did extensive wind tunnel testing with, testing with the truck. We made sure that everything we were doing resulted in a, a slipperier truck. From any view of this truck, each series looks unique to itself, whether it's the front view, the rear view with the appliques we put on the, the tailgate, side view with different wheel and tire combinations and color combinations, front view with different headlamps, different grills, different faces, different bumpers. So we really get, we, we can get a very widespread of the, of the series. So the 2015 F-150 was designed to be aluminum from the get-go. We knew that we were dealing with the new material that we had only used really in hoods and other small areas on our vehicles in the past. Although we were very, we had a lot of knowledge with our uh, knowledge of aluminum with our background with Jaguar, and we had never done anything like this before. I don't think anyone's ever done anything like this. So we, we had to get very familiar with what the aluminum could and couldn't do from a surface standpoint. So there was a lot of testing. There was a lot of back and forth between uh, the studio and stamping and the, and the engineering departments to make sure that what we were putting on the clay model could actually be achieved in the new material. So this is our King Ranch interior, uh, King Ranch truck has full. Uh, what's special about this vehicle is its general upgrades in leathers, uh, materials. We've done high-end leather for the seats and it's a full leather seat front and rear. Uh, we've also added a open pour uh, wood, real wood. Uh, and we've also given this dark uh, Java interior. Uh, it, it's, a, um, it's a great feel. It actually was inspired by the actual King Ranch itself. Uh, the team went down to, to visit the ranch and we got inspired by a lot of the furniture, some of the old uh, antique guns they had, the gun barrels and gun stocks were inspiring the, uh, the wood, um, the, dark, uh, the dark warm leather, some of the seats in the house. And so we definitely got inspired by the interior itself. Ford trucks were the first ones to introduce a full console, uh, flow through console. Uh, it actually happened back in the 2004 F-150. Uh, what we found is our customers in the higher end uh, markets really appreciated the, the console. It gave them a lot more storage. They, didn't, they weren't looking for the volume or having the number of people within the vehicles, so they actually rather have the amenities that the full console gives them. Um, some of the things that it does give them is a very large uh, center console storage bin. Uh, it gives them a media bin that's up front, which the other vehicle has as well, but this one's a beautifully covered one with uh, real wood. Uh, it gives you cup holders that are right front and center, a, a gear shifter that, that allows them to feel a little bit more of that um, luxury feel in the interior. So the exterior being made of aluminum on the F-150 definitely influenced the interior. And how it influenced the interior is some of the design form language uh, that we use. Uh, with the aluminum we wanted these voluminous structural forms creating the shapes, these horseshoes that run around the IP. It reflects some of the aspects of aluminum where the strength is created by the structure and the forms. And we, we tried to replicate that on the interior. Um, we also wanted to create uh, lightness out of the interior, which is why we did these cutaway storage areas for the passenger. Um, and that also repeats on the uh, driver's side as well. In regards to aluminum being used on the interior, on the Platinum Series, we actually have made these, these appliques out of aluminum themselves. We wanted to minimize the number of buttons as, as, as few as possible because our customer does find that if you start throwing too many buttons at them, it, it gets um, not intuitive. Um, but we also wanted these buttons and knobs to be very big and robust, uh, used for gloved hands. Uh, we, we elevated all the buttons to make sure that they're set off surface, have a nice tough feel to them. Uh, 
and then at the same time, they still have an interface within the My Ford Touch Nav screen that, that is easy to use, but they still have that secondary volume, quick, everything is quick to adjust, temperature, all those things that they need immediately are right at their fingertips and can be used in any condition.